The question that we've asked is, uh, what is this new feature called Client Portal and how can I use it in Eula? Uh, it's pretty interesting that with COVID-19, we are not able to meet our clients face-to-face -face several times. So we have generated a new feature called Client Portal where you can basically interact with your client remotely without actually contacting them. How do you do that is every time you get an email, right? Like let's say John uh, Smyker just reached to you and you need him to basically give you all the information about the contact. What you can do is you can click on this portal link. Then you can give his email. Let's say he is jwoltjohn.smyker at smyker.com. Let's say that's his email, right? Once you have his email, then you can give your secret key. And I'll tell you how to generate this secret key. And you hit the generate portal button and it will generate you a very unique link at that point. You copy this link and you can email John this. Now you could also send him a QR code because these days most people use cell phones. So if you just click here, you generate a QR code and you can just right click on this and you can basically um, you know, copy this image and paste it in an email for him. So you can either send him this image and the link and once he gets the link, what does John do? He just goes on his browser, on his email, and he accesses that link. When he accesses that link, it brings him to a page which is customized with your branding so that he can fill in the entire contact information for you. The beauty is you've not even met John, but you've collected all the information that you need to make him a client, he can collect his first name, last name, birth name, nickname, his home address, his entire detail about his work, his contacts on phone, his matter information. What does this matter about? Like, you know, how did you hear? Like, you know, and then the type of uh, photo ID that he's going to present for you, his email address, you know, if different from that one. And then, you know, you also ask him to authorize, which is a law society requirement to make sure that you can communicate to him via email and then you hit the submit button. To enable client portal, it's very simple in Eula. All you do is you go to your settings panel, go to contacts, go to the bottom, and you just say, hey, I want to enable client portal, and you put your secret key here. We generally want you to have at least an eight to 10 digit secret key because this is very important. You're now sending clients an open link. We want to encrypt that link as much as possible. As you saw in the portal link, we generated a key, right? This key, it has to be unique. For it to be unique, we use your key. So the more powerful your key is, the more powerful the encryption is. So you need to help us keep you protected, you know, from uh, external sources tampering with your account. So if you're using client portal, we want you to ensure that your key is not uh, just the name of your pet, but, but something a little bit more complicated. Uh, use eight letters, use upper letters, lowercase, use numbers, use symbols. And every time you generate, you know, the client portal link, and this has to be generated every time for a client, you will basically put the email ID and that secret key that you put in settings and you will generate the link. Okay, so now that I have generated the link, let me start going and, and and fill here. So obviously we know it's John uh, Smyther, right? And then uh, you know let's say his uh, birth name was uh, you know um, uh, Smith, right? And uh, nickname, uh, I think JS is really good. Let's go with his address. Let's say uh, eighty-two King Street. Uh, let's use Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Uh, postal code, we, we validate postal code. So, you know, you need to make sure you give valid ones. Like for example, let me give an invalid one. Let's say I just give some random number. And if I actually say I'm not a robot, in this case, like you know, it's asking me to check all the boats. And verify, I hit the submit button. Oh, it's going to tell me some fields are mandatory. You need to fill on the cell phone number. Let's say it is 222 
form file number as 613-222-3345. Again, it validates all the phone numbers and all the information, so you need to give good information. Let's say the employer is, uh, you know, yeah, let's say he works at a as, as a law clerk in a law firm, right? You can say JJ Law Firm. The patient is a law clerk. Uh, again, profession, uh, you know, uh, you can give uh, uh, clerical duties. Oops, let me get my spelling right. Okay. Duties. And let's say his office address is uh, downtown Ottawa. So you can say 92. Uh, Wellington Street, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, um, K4T5T6. Uh, his work phone number could be 613-444-5656. Uh, he can give additional matter why he's actually reaching us. He can say, hey, uh, this matter is a family matter, uh, you know, about child custody and then he can tell you how he uh, heard about us let's say he says Facebook uh, maybe you advertised in Facebook here he says uh, say um, passport okay. he's submitting his passport and uh, here here he has to give the address of him John Smitherman at hotmail.com uh, then he has to authorize then he verifies so this time it's buses and now he hits the submit button as you saw here the, the postal code is verified so let me fix that mistake that i made k2 r45 right and then I hit the submit button once he hits the submit button what happens is he basically gets notified saying hey thank you for taking time to complete the form the law firm has been notified. So what happens is you will get an email, right? Saying that, uh, you know, uh, Mr. John has taken the time to finish filling the contacts. So once you got the email, so you'll come back to ULA and all you need to do is just uh, click on the contact button and it'll load him. So you can actually go into the dashboard and you will see John Smith are actually uh, there as a recently modified contact. And you click on him you will see that all the information that you basically you know that he basically filled for you is here as you see here John has filled in all the information his first name his last name his marital status uh, everything that we collected from him is here like for example passport the matter info I'm going to copy this matter info basically because I'm going to create a matter for him so let me just copy that uh, but overall you see like everything uh, is filled out what I'm going to do is I'm going to just save this matter. Uh, let me just uh, uh, save this matter. And what I'll tell you is like, you know, what is the quality of information that John actually gave us? It's going to give you a score. And you'll see that because we forced to collect all the information from him and very correctly, it's going to give you a very, very, very high score. You see that the score is about almost 93.75% what's missing is fax number marital status and other stuff right like, although that's the only stuff that you did not get so as you see here the quality of information that you got from the client is very high he filled it so you know clearly like you know you can basically trust this more uh, than you actually learning from him and typing if you're ready to actually create the matter you can just say matter you actually copied the text you can just say hey i'm it's a child custody matter right like you know you just uh take the titles straight from what he gave you and you can call it family law and hit the same button. so we kind of skipped the entire client intake process for you and brought it straight from the fee he filled the form for you and uh taken it to the next step so um you know email will be sent to you as soon as john hits the submit button saying that hey uh, john has actually completed the process it's time for you to go into ULA and check the contact validate everything uh you know and we have everything uh, that we have collected on your behalf from john uh, you know kind of indicated here so to summarize first go into settings uh, set up your client portal 
make sure that you set up a very good key like you know we want uh, the use we want to encourage users to about have about eight uh, to ten letters in their keys right like, you know, make sure that that's there uh, once you've done that then you can start using this client portal link you only need two information his email address and his uh, um, uh, the, the key that you actually put and then you can generate the link and then you can uh, as we showed you you have a QR code that you can send and he can just start using this right from his cell phone or his browser